going to mix camion orange with ultramarine blue they are complement colors so they're gonna make a, like a black color but I'm gonna put more of the ultramarine blue ultramarine color ultramarine blue is always super transparent so it will always require more of the ultramarine blue always because it's super transparent this is a brownish color but that's okay uh, I'm gonna put more more ultramarine blue in here so instead of trying to make this color darker we're just gonna take a tiny bit and we are going to put more of the blue and I think um, I don't want this color to dry too fast so I think I'm gonna put a drop of the retarder yeah that's a better color so I'm gonna put a drop of this retarder um, by golden golden retarder so that my color stay wet longer and I'm gonna put some retarder on my brush and I'm gonna apply retarder in here so that I have more time for blending let's start with the dark gray at the top and this is too blue I need it to be more black so I'm gonna put a tiny bit more of the it needs to be more into the gray so brown plus uh, blue makes uh, black if I want it to be darker maybe I can go a tiny bit more into the orange because the orange is the complement color so it will make it more gray and then it's gonna start uh, turning uh, more toward the blue so I'm gonna start adding blue to this color and more of the white and I think that is too dark for me I'm going to make a lighter color start lighting in this so now I'm gonna go more into the white I'm gonna wipe my brush and I'm gonna go into that color and start blending this in here gonna put a tiny bit more of blue in here then even lighter in here I think I'm gonna leave it like this we are gonna dry this we are going to mix the color for the clouds and we are going to use white plus a tiny bit of cat yellow medium a speckle of the cat yellow medium and make a what I call a warm white so let's start with that uh, dark color that we we mixed and let's add a tiny bit of the white that's good and then I'm gonna make one with a tiny bit of the of the other brown color that I have in here and a tiny bit of the white so I have several values of gray in here and maybe I can have a tiny bit of white plus ultramarine blue so I'm gonna start by putting some of the retarder on my brush and on my piece okay so we're going to pick uh, first I'm gonna pick some of this gray color I'm gonna start putting some of this gray in here that's a warm gray then I can add, take some of this and I'm not cleaning my brush I want it lighter in here so let's go to the dirty brush plus that white wipe my brush and I'm gonna blend that 
on the bottom very soft fan brush and I'm going to use that to tickle this at the bottom so you can play as much as you want with your clouds and I'm going to leave it like this so I have here Calvin Orange Plus Ultramarine Blue which was the mix that we did before um, I'm going to take a little bit of this I'm going to add um, blue a tiny bit of this on the side and we are putting um, the retarder on all the paints to have more time with the colors so now I'm going to add a tiny bit of white and make like a light blue color now we're going to use this color and add raw sienna white and let's put a tiny bit of cut yellow let's add ultramarine blue and cut yellow ultramarine, cut yellow and raw sienna okay so this color is the one that we're going to put in the backing here this is where I put that color. It's the ocean that is um, the water that is behind the wave. Now we're going to do the wave. And for the baseline, I'm going to use this color plus the brown color. Needs to be darker than that, more into the blue. So I'm going to add a tiny bit more of the ultramarine blue. I'm going to clean that color in there and put that other color that we just need. Now, on top of that, I'm going to put just raw sienna. Maybe the uh, raw sienna plus this color that we mixed in here. Lighter color that we mixed. And put it on the top and blend it with there, with those. And I know it's looking ugly. We'll make it look prettier in a minute. So let's put a tiny bit of retarder on our, on our brush. And take that light color and start highlighting in here. Make the foam color with the dark color plus white plus ultramarine blue plus alizarin crimson. and start making the foam it's probably too dark so let's mix it with a lighter color lighters that foam is too dark but we'll, we'll start with the dark and then we put light on top I'm gonna start um, painting my beige And also, I'm going to take the dark, super dark color and put it underneath in here. That area is going to have also the foam.
So I am going to start bringing some of the water in, in here. So I have this mixture of glue that I did for you and I'm going to put it in here. We have to, this section have to mash in there, so let's put some of this uh, blue in there too. I have to dry this so that we can do the next stage. My burnt legs. So I'm going to base coat them with a tiny bit of orange plus white. Maybe that color that I already have in there so that I don't have to put any other color and I'm just going to put a base coat on the legs with this color so that I don't lose them. I'm going to take um, number 20 brush with a little bit of the retarder and burn umber and I want to create the wet sand. As it is wet in here, uh, start with the dark. Sometimes you can pick some of the of the brown dark color, and then you go to the medium color, and then once it's wet, you can go to that lighter color. Wipe your brush and blend it there. Or the purple and uh, the light purple and then some of the of the warm white but try to do it wet and wet and do not cover all the sand that you have in there there be also a section in here where there is less water than than in here and just put a tiny bit of water like this I'm gonna take a tiny bit of the very dark color the, the one that I feel is don't come in orange plus um, ultra in blue and try to darken underneath this And of course, I don't want to have that line in there, so I'm going to start breaking it with um, some of those um, squiggly lines. Yeah, um, a little bit more of green on top of this, um, using the same method as the wave method that I showed you before. Now I am uh, putting some action in here in the back. And what you can do to make that green color, you take a Camion Yellow Plus Ultramarine Blue and you make that green co this green color in here. And then if you want to lighten it, you can put a tiny bit of the Camion Jello plus the warm white and lighten the top. That And we're following all the same things that you learn on the way that you bring this color in there. You can either have, you can have the dark color in your hand or let's put some dark, the, the base color. And then you can have the the lighter purple. If it's a light to life in there, then go to the darker purple. And then you can also in there put some some lighter color. Ultramarine blue plus the the camion yellow medium and put some green also 
on other areas of the composition because you don't want to have only green in one area. So add some of that green in other places. So paint the black sections with black. How do you make black? But we'll take your darker color and add a tiny bit more of the blue and that's black. And then uh, you're going to take raw sienna plus your brown color and paint the lower section of the beak. I basically those two places with warm white. Now I'm going to go into raw sienna with the warm white and I am going to apply the color that is on the other side. Then I'm going to take the brown and I'm going to base cut the other side. And let's go back to the white and blend that in there. Let's blend all this color together. A bit more of the warm white. And a highlight with white. Blend those colors in there. Now I am blending. And let's put the um this dark color that we mix on the other side of the of the head. It's the dark brown plus plus whatever you have in your brush. And that's probably too dark. Let's put a tiny bit more of the warm white. And that's too light. So try to make a color in between. And I am going to finish base cutting the beak. This same color I'm going to put in here. Tiny bit darker. Probably go a tiny bit closer. I didn't want to, I don't want to lose focus and by going too close. Now this area probably can be base coated with that dark color. Just put a tiny bit of the, of the purple with it, of the dark purple. I'm blending the dark purple, maybe a tiny bit of the brown. Let's see. Yeah. I don't want to lose that line in there. That's probably white. Put one white, one white in here, and in here, dirty color. That's one white. In my brush and put one white. Okay, let's finish with that um, purple area. You notice I pick up more uh, lighter color of the purple. Then you can go to darker. I'm going into the dark purple, but I don't have any left. So I have to mix it with the black. And go to the warm white. Now, I always like to make um, this side darker, uh, away from the center of attention, in order not to lose your legs. Uh, I put the brown of the the brown mix plus the cut orange in each side of the legs and in these divisions of the legs. The same as you did with the foam. Start with building um, some of the foam on the, the bottom of the legs. This is the final piece. Big thanks to Chris Jessek for joining us on Patreon. If you have not done so, please visit our page.